service. Uh, we're a little delayed this evening with some technical difficulties. Hopefully, we'll get that resolved before we get too far into our service. The Baptist Church. Um, again, the Baptist. we welcome you all this evening. Yeah, I was going to say it's very um, Ash Wednesday begins the 40 days of yep. preparation and self examination of Lent. All right. And as we move toward the cross and the empty grave, on Ash Wednesday, we are like Isaiah. Seeing who we are in the light of God's majesty, we are mortal, frail, and dependent. We examine ourselves, allowing God's holy light to re reveal our sin, leading us to come in repentance before God. We can be honest about our frailty, about the temptations and weaknesses we face in this life. Ash Wednesday is also about recognizing the God who saved us from sin and death. Jesus stared death in the face and won. So with Christ Jesus, we too can stare, stare death in the face and enter into the fullness of life that will not end when our mortal bodies die. <laughs> Call a solemn assembly. Gather the people. Sanctify the congregation. Assemble the aged. Gather the children, including nursing infants. Let even the bride and bridegroom rise from their nuptials. Gather everyone. And you, ministers, weep. Pray to the Lord on our behalf, saying, Spare your people, O Lord. Don't let others look at us and wonder where you are. O Lord, spare, O spare your people. Return to me with all your hearts, says the Lord. Yet even now, return to me. Rend your hearts with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Is full of his glory. 
At the sound of their voices, the doorposts and thresholds shook, and the temple was filled with smoke. <clears throat> Woe to me, I cried, I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Then one of the seraphs flew to me with a live pole in his hand, which he had taken with tongs from the altar. With it he touched my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin atoned for. Be still, be still, know that he is God. And all the people said, Be still, be still, know that he is God. Let us stand for the song of the Lord at each. Jesus Christ. 
together God's people say. Amen. You may be seated this evening. It is a call to repentance. On Ash Wednesday is a time of repentance from sin. As Job repented in dust and in ashes from Job 42, also in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, the Apostle Paul says, Godly sorrow brings repentance that leads to salvation and leaves no regret. But worldly sorrow brings death. Repentance is not just an emotional response, but it does involve a feeling of regret and a feeling of remorse and also a conviction of the enormity and the offensiveness of sin. And repentance involves a turning away from sin with a resolve to obey God. So let's pray together in true, full repentance and seek God for a greater measure of grace and holiness in our lives this evening. I invite this evening Elder Will Chambers. Psalms 51. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned, and done this evil in your sight that you may be found just when you speak, and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, your desire, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the inward part you will make me known with to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones you have, you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot off all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me by your righteous, your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. These, O God, you will not despise. To put in your good pleasure to Zion, build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with burnt offerings and whole burnt offering. Then they shall offer bulls on your altar. Let us now meditate on the video this evening as I ask you to turn around and watch and meditate on this video, Head of Dust.
continue to stand now as it's time to stand. As you just watched that video, there are words that popped out. Tonight is a night that we continue to surrender, and maybe there's areas in our life that we have not yet surrendered to Jesus. So let us join together in this song tonight, singing it to the Lord our God tonight, that we will surrender everything freely to Him. Let's worship Him and dance.
as a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are born, he remembers that we are dust. The life of mortals is like a grass, they flourish like a flower of the field. The wind blows over it, and it is gone, and his place remembers it no more. For the Just a few moments will come forward this evening as we always do each and every year for to receive our ashes. And sometimes God uses ordinary elements in unexpected ways to each and every one of us to bring grace into our lives. I'm very thankful for the grace of God. Amen. Amen. So God uses ash drawn in the shape of a cross that we receive each and every year. And so, it is a sign of our sinfulness, it is also a sign of our mortality, but thank God it's also a sign of divine love and His compassion for each and every one of us. So this evening, as you come forward tonight, pray our hearts, or contrite, I pray our hearts are pliable to receive once again the gift that he gives to each and every one of us salvation. He bled on the cross for you and I. And so our journey in this Lenten season is an opportune time for us once again to remember <coughs> who we are. But most importantly, to remember who we are in Christ. We are Christians. We are disciples of his to follow him to the very end. So tonight, as you come to receive your ashes in the sign of a cross, tonight we are here as one body, serving one God. Let's join together this evening as we come to receive our imposition of ashes, and the song will be played, Ashes. We ask you to join in, sing tonight.
thought of this video. It's called Beautiful. It's very appropriate. You see.
received our ashes and we recognize our mortality. And oftentimes in our own lives, our own personal lives and the lives around us, we see brokenness. We see a hurting world. We see right now a world that is hurting over in Ukraine and, and throughout the world. And so let us pray tonight to allow the Holy Spirit to move not only upon our land, but upon the world, and especially Ukraine. We're going to close in benediction, and then right after that, I'm going to lead in prayer. I'm going to ask that the body of Christ will bow with me as we will intercede uh, this evening for you know, the, the country of Ukraine and, and our world and all that's affected by this. Let us join together as you look at the overhead behind you tonight. And let us pray a benediction together as one body. Loving and merciful God, we have made our honest confessions before you and before one another. We thank you for your forgiveness and for your healing. We pray for your continued forgiveness and your healing in the hurting world. May nothing separate us from you as we follow Jesus during this land of heaven. Amen. Would you bow your heads this evening and just have a moment of quietness as the piano plays and prepare our hearts for this Ash Wednesday night as we head into the Lenten season. Lean on our own understanding. 
but in all of our ways, trust in you. And you said you'll direct our paths. So tonight, God, as we leave tonight, God, we leave with the peace of the Holy Spirit. And yet, Lord, we pray for peace for this world. Lord, send your presence, your Holy Spirit, into the areas that most need it right now, God. We thank you tonight, God, for this Ash Wednesday service. I thank you for all those who put it together. We thank you for everyone who's attended tonight, God, and those who will view it upon Facebook and YouTube. And we pray, God, that, Lord, during this Lenten season, Lord, that we'll stay close to you as our guide and light, as our Savior. This we pray in the precious and holy name of Jesus, the Christ and our Savior. And together, God's people say, Amen, amen and Amen. Would you give me praise tonight? God bless you. And now, the peace and strength of the Lord Jesus Christ, we'll see you on Sunday morning as we come to our first Sunday in Lent. God bless you and have a good evening.